What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again. And earlier this week, essentially, we saw a listing for the Sapphire Radeon RX 6600 on a Portuguese retailer website, as reported by WCCF Tech. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the specifications and then issue our at least our Ethereum hash rate prediction for the GPU prior to its launch. Let's get into it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to centralized exchange for liquidating my crypto assets. With their Crypto.com Visa debit card, I can load up my mined Ethereum to pay for power and other operating costs quickly while earning up to 8% cash back. In addition to the Visa debit card, there are additional fiat options including wire transfers to easily receive your profits. Crypto.com also offers additional services including trading and even staking to earn additional revenue revenue on your investments. Join 10 million plus users buying and selling 100 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost by using my affiliate link in the description for a $25 funding bonus or enter referral code SOAT at sign up for the same bonus. Remember, cryptocurrency investment comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Alrighty, so let's hop right into the article to get you guys up to date. As stated, it is from WCCF Tech and the title is Sapphire Radeon RX 6600 Pulse Non-XT pictured and listed online. Will feature 8 gigabytes of memory and early pricing of 589 euros. So Sapphire's custom Radeon RX 6600 Pulse graphics card has been listed online over by Portuguese retailer PCDIGA. And we have already seen several listings of the 6600, but this one is the first custom variant to get official pictures several weeks prior to launch. So here's some official pictures for that particular GPU. And as you can see, it does look like a Pulse uh, pretty much right out of the box. There's nothing really crazy going on here. What we really want to take a look at is the specification. So let's take a look right here at those. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 graphics card is expected to feature the Navi 23 XL GPU, which is going to feature 28 compute units or 1,792 stream processors. The card will also rock 32 megabytes of infinity cache and will feature up to 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory capacity running across 128 bit wide bus interface so that's the big part that we want to know about is the memory we have gddr6 we have 128 bit bus awesome so the pin speed will be kept at 16 gigabits per second is what they're saying which will bring the total bandwidth to 256 gigabytes per second as per the rumor mill the graphics card is expected to feature 27 mega hash a second in ethereum mining so Actually, we can go ahead and say that it's probably going to be more than that, closer to the 6600 XT, primarily due to the fact that as far as the memory configuration goes, the GDDR6 across 128-bit bus at 16 gigabits per second, getting the final bandwidth up to 256 gigabytes per second, just like the XT model, means that we should be seeing 32 mega hash a second after overclocked on Ethereum, plus, of course, that low, low power consumption that we've been seeing on the 6600 XT. What's even more exciting is we have less cores to deal with, less stream processors to deal with, less compute units to deal with, meaning that we can crank down that clock, hopefully, on the core, as well as crank down, of course, the power consumption as a result, the voltage that that is utilizing to get us probably a probably, probably, probably the most efficient GPU for mining Ethereum to date. That's my bet at this time because the 6600 XT was already proving to be that. If we're cutting down the power consumption and moving over to the 6600, this could be fan fantastic news. I am super excited about this. Just to confirm, you can look at the spec sheets here as compared to, of course, the 6600 XT, which has the Navi 23 XT. It has, you know, a few more compute units, more stream processors, all of that, right? So 
the questions that we have kind of revolving around this GPU is going to primarily be things that aren't going to affect mining in particular. So finally, the price point is going to be between 300 and 329 US dollars. My assumption here is the new retail is going to push it closer to that $400 mark. And then you will have to go ahead and decide on how you want to go ahead and build out any rigs surrounding that. If you can get your hands on any of the cards, what does that ROI come out to? If we're looking at basically just a cheaper RX 6600 XT and we're looking at the worst case price currently as retail that was announced, which is 329 US dollars, then we can calculate that out and let's pull it up. So if we head on over to what to mine, I just went ahead and put in 32 mega hash a second at 50 watts. We're looking at revenue of $1.99 a day and $1.92 after, of course, power consumption. These results may vary depending on, of course, network difficulty, etc. And you should keep that in mind. That being said, at the current state, we would be looking at an ROI of 165 days mining Ethereum if these predictions come out to be accurate. So, awesome. What do you guys think about the RX 6600? Are you as excited for it as I am? Or are you still looking at purchasing, you know, the high end 3000 series GPU, specifically the RTX 3090? Or are you looking at something else? Let me know in the comment section below. This week, I hope to have more and more content coming out. Thanks for all the support and helping me get through kicking that nicotine addiction. We are going on past week two, and I'm super excited to have that kind of kicked and ready to go. I'm feeling good now, feeling like I can do more than just wake up, do a workout, be upset from not having nicotine going to bed, that sort of thing. So I'm super excited. If you guys would like more info on that, let me know. Maybe we could do a separate video on a different platform for it. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.